So our next lesson, um, still building on the introduction and having kids explore, is what's your number? And basically all you need are two kids. Here we have Larry the Lion, who's uh, so graciously volunteered to show us, show us uh, how to play this game. And we have Eddie the Elephant. Thanks, guys. Uh, and we need base 10 blocks, rods and units. I would just stick with rods and units, um, unless unless your kids have more advanced concept of, of numbers, um, you know, you really don't need flats. You just want to get kids introduced to the idea of, of base 10 blocks. So I think rods and units are just fine. Um, later on, as, as they get more familiar, you might want to throw in the flats, but I would just stick for now with, um, with uh, rods and units. You know, for even younger kids, I might even just stick with units. So, and the last thing you need is are manila folders or just a book you know, just pretty much anything around the house. Uh, so very, very basic, you know, kids give each other clues, try to figure out um, what the other's number is. So they, they, they alternate turns. So Larry the Lion might say, well, I have six blocks, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. And Eddie the Elephant might say, well, I have four blocks, one, two, three, four. Um, Larry the Lion might say for another clue, I have, uh, my units are the, is the sum of 1 plus 3, which is 1 plus 3 is 4, so he has 4 units, um, or, um, or Eddie the Elephant might say, well, I have a number that's bigger than 3 rods and smaller than 4 rods. Uh, if, they, if, if the kids have an idea of even and odd numbers, uh, you could say, um, Larry the Lion might say, well, I have an even number. Or Eddie the Elephant might say, well, I have an odd number. You know, so they would give each other clues until they can come up with some ideas and strategize and kind of eliminate numbers which can't be possible until they narrow down um, to a number that it could be. Um, you know, and, you know, having kids even draw this out, use manipulatives, uh, might be very helpful also. So eventually, you know, Larry the Lion might say, well, if your number's, if your number's, you know, bigger than 30, um, but less than 32, maybe it's 31, you know, and Larry the Lion would win. So another very basic game, the kids love games, you know, if, if you can make learning into a game, um, kids just learn faster uh, and they really pick up these concepts when they're playing um, and again sometimes you know with some kids you know they might need an adult to play first couple of first couple of times and model how the game is played or ask questions kind of model like questions to um, to really ask kids um, but I, I think once they get the gist of it you know they're they'll know and, and they know exactly how to play and they know the rules and they know the questions to ask. They have some kind of strategy. Um, you know, you know, they'll be fine.